Most people have heard of Medicare fraud in the campaign to stop that, but what do you know about Medicaid fraud in child welfare? Medicaid fraud in child welfare? What's that? Contrary to popular belief, the largest federal funding source in foster care is not Title IV-E, nor is it Title IV-A, which is for emergency assistance. It's not even Title XX of the Federal Social Security Act. Well, what is it then? The largest funding stream in foster care is Title XIX, or Medicaid. In the area that we will be addressing for the purpose of this video is targeted case management. Targeted case management is considered a pay-as-you-go program. This means that whenever there is a bill in child welfare, it will be paid in full by the feds. Unlike Medicaid federal financial participation, targeted case management in foster care and adoption is 100% covered, which means that the states do not pay any portion. Then a portion of these funds was set aside to suspend regulation called a moratoria on targeted case management. So now we have a basic formula for child welfare fraud. 100% FFP plus moratoria equals the targeted case management revenue maximization scheme. It becomes financially beneficial for the states to place and keep children in foster care than to provide community-based services because there is no regulation of the legitimacy of targeted case management costs. So, what exactly does targeted case management fund? Well, Zippy, exactly what it says. The management of cases from targeted populations. And what is a targeted population? Targeted populations are children who are considered at risk. This means that the likelihood of them being in need of child welfare services is substantial because they meet the following criteria. They could be at or below the federal poverty level. The parents could be minorities. They could be from single parent homes. They could be groups of siblings, or the parents could be unemployed, or perhaps the family could even be living in a low-income neighborhood. The family could also be homeless. And let's not forget special needs children, the disabled, or parents with lack of medical coverage. I'm not really sure that I understand. Can you give an example? Well, Zippy, Medicaid fraud can only be examined after the billing has been submitted and the cost reimbursed. But let me show you what the U.S. Department of Justice identifies as a revenue maximizing fraud scheme. A single parent goes and applies for food stamps or Medicaid. Strike! The child receives SSI and is in need of medical assistance. Strike! And the single parent could have more than one child. Strike three, you're out! Of course, these are only the basic factors that qualify a child for immediate, unnecessary, and improper removals. But they are the first stages of the targeted case management fraud scheme. It all plays out like this. The child is placed in a foster home and not with relatives. The child is sent to unnecessary medical and psychological services. The child is billed for non-existent services. The child is sent to medical and psychological services where the physicians have a financial stake in the child placing agency. The shrink for the child placing agency recommends termination of parental rights to the court. The judge has a financial interest in the child placing agency. Parental rights are terminated and the child is adopted. The state continues to receive the child's monthly SSI payment during the targeted case management payment period. Once the child is adopted, the child is issued a new social security number along with a new name. And the states continue to receive the SSI funding under the old social security number. And to think, they get away with this all the time. The complexity of TCM child welfare fraud varies from state to state and from child placing agency to child placing agency. But they exist in a multitude of shapes and forms. Concerns of the pervasiveness of these revenue maximizing schemes have been federally expressed but ignored by Congress. If you know or suspect Medicaid fraud in child welfare, report it.